I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? Man, I can't complain. Wouldn't do no good, man. It wouldn't do no good. God still providing. Man, I thought in the midst of the pandemic, I was going to lose my jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm still working all three of mine, bro. Ooh, nice, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I just want to say one thing. Definitely wait. Ah! <laughs> bro, real talk, that is my jam, bro. Like, seriously, man. man. <laughs> that, is, that is my jam. I love the... I think you picked the perfect time uh, to put it out, too. The weather's transitioning, and you got that warm feel to the song. The weather's right. changing into the warmth. Bro, that's on hot, man. man. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It means a lot, especially coming from you, sir. Especially coming from man. you. We just, we just in here doing it for God, man. We're <laughs> <laughs> doing it for the Lord, bro. Mm. Uh, that's why I tell people, I said, I, I said, I refuse to die empty, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta. Die. I have to die empty. I have to die empty. Right. right. I want to be able to just be like, here's everything that I got. Here's everything mm -hmm. that you've given me. I'm good. <laughs> so. That's right. That's right. I tell people all the time too. Yeah, man. Same exact thing. I want to die. Yeah, we ain't. We ain't getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to yourself. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> At least I ain't. <laughs> my birthday, my birthday is actually in four days. Talk about you. <laughs> oh, word. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be going in and out now, man. Okay, in my back. Thirty-seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'll be thirty-seven, man. I'll be thirty-seven. What's up, family? It's your boy, Chris Sims, co-host of the Praise Radio Show. This is Car Chronicles with Chris. I'm in the car because I got four kids. Ain't no place quiet to go in the house. So I'm in the car. So, but it's cool. It's cool. It's not really cool. I got my hoodie on, and it's like 80-something degrees. Ah. <laughs> so I'm just sweating in here. But I got that corona cut. And, uh, you know, I don't want to expose that to the peoples. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we are here today, and we are on the line, one and only, Mr. Kevin Tyson Jr. Woo! Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you so much, man. It's a pleasure to be on here with you. And uh, just thank you for the opportunity, man. It just uh, glorify God, bro. Thank you so much. Man, thank you for agreeing to be on here with us, man. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it so much. Listen, man. Uh, tell us something, man. T tell us, tell us, tell us who who is who is Kevin Mason Jr. Wow. Uh, well, um, husband, father of five, uh, a minister of the gospel, whether it be through preaching or through music. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm just me, man. I'm authentically me. What you see is what you get. Um, and I just keep I lost you for a second. I, th I think you're back. Yeah, I lost you there too. Okay, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we're good. Wow, man. Okay, cool, cool. So. Uh, man, we were introduced to the Kingdom Image Award. Correct. Yes, that's sir. How, that's how we were introduced. And you actually won which category? Uh, it was the, hold on, I'll tell you, because I was nominated for something else. Hold on. Okay. Best Male Vocalist. Nice. <laughs> Best Male yeah. Vocalist. We were both in the same category. Yes. He beat me, y'all. He beat me. <laughs> nah, we won that together, bro. <laughs> That's both of ours, man. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to mail it to you. It's both of ours. <laughs> I'll tell you. We both winners, man. We, we, 
we we do what we do for the glory of God, man. I Amen. tell people, it's like all oh, that stuff is great, and you get a, a get an award. The reward is better, man, and the reward yeah. comes from God, man. So yeah, we we both want that. That's ours, bro. <laughs> hey, nah, it, let's talk about that since we we went there. Let's talk about that because I I definitely have an issue with that when it comes to like competition in the church, and and like. Yeah, musicians and artists not supporting each other because it's, and I have so many crazy stories of situations like that where uh, or where other musicians and other artists refuse to support or, or help, in, help out another artist or help me out. And I remember going to a, to a service and um, mm -hmm. a concert and I know that there were a bunch of musicians and um I, I got up to sing and I asked if there was a, you know, any, any musicians that could help me out. None of them, none of them would, would raise their hand. None of them would come up to help. And then this, this was a small church and, and they didn't really have any musicians. I, 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 I took up the mantle and I started playing the drums for them. But when my time came to, uh, to minister, I tried to get one of the other musicians to help out. They were I, I personally don't like that. I think that we are called to help be in addition to uh, to whatever is happening with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that that, that kind of image, seeing musicians do that, and people who call themselves Christians, they're sitting there waiting for their, their opportunity to just kill it. That kind of image, that kind of mentality really disturbs me. So, yeah. So, Talk to us about some of that, you know, you had any experience. Well, I too have had a similar situations such as the one you just uh, mentioned. And of course, you know, uh, multiple of times where I've helped other ministries, other people, et cetera, and received nothing in return. So there's a, there's a couple of things I want to say about that. One of the things that I've learned is that I serve with not looking for anything in return mm. because I know that God is actually pleased because I serve him by serving other people. Mm. That's one. The second thing that I've learned um, just through my years of, you know, music uh, and just ministry period is that you have a lot of people who don't know who they are in Christ mm. and don't know that they are called to help. You know what I'm saying? And make each other better. The Bible says iron sharpen iron. So as dull as I am and as dull as you are, when we come together, we sharp as that. So what you have is a lot of people who are doing ministry from a standpoint of, I like to call these people arrogantly insecure. Mm. Mm. These are the people who feel like they're too good to assist you, but they're also so insecure that they don't realize that they really don't know who they are in Christ, and they really don't know who they are in the, uh, just as an individual. They don't know who they are uh, when they go to work. They don't know who they are with their wives, their husbands, their children, anything that they're involved in. So this particular uh, music outlet is the thing that keeps them going, right? Mm -hmm. But because they, don't, because they don't realize who they are, they can't operate in that thing fully. I don't have a problem with sharing the stage with anybody, sharing an award with anybody, only because I'm comfortable with who I am. And so I've never looked at anything as a competition. And, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not trying to shun any of the shows that are out there uh, for people uh, competing and things of that nature. But my only problem is it's when we as the body of Christ can't see the good in each particular artist. Oh, I don't like that person. Okay, cool. That may not be the lane that you uh, 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 drive in or the music, type of music that you listen to. But yo, support my man. You know what I'm saying? Support my sister. Yo, they're doing this for the kingdom, man. And we get so caught up in, oh, this person ain't that known, so I'm not going to help them. But the very mm -hmm. minute, let me give you an example. I had someone uh, reach out to me uh, to ask me to play keys. 
Now, I've been playing piano since Peter walked on water, man. Like, I've been playing piano <laughs> forever, piano and guitar. So people know where I am as an instrumentalist. And, you know, they were uh, paying me a price for it, uh, but because some of the people who were assisting in this particular play or this the, uh, theatric production that I was playing for, they didn't know who I was. Mm. Oh, now get rid of him. They then got someone else who had a little bit of credibility, right? But they wanted that name attached to their theatrical play. And so they used this guy. He ended up charging them almost three times more. <laughs> than, you know, what they originally uh, offered me. And so I was just like, you know, we get so caught up in the who's who of gospel music, the who's who of uh, uh, gospel preaching that we forget that we're all in this together. We need each other. Mm -hmm. That's my standpoint on it, man. When we can come together and really understand that we need each other's gifts, we need each other's testimonies, we need each other's you know, trials and uh, our burdens, we need to share those things. And that's when I think that we will fully be able to uh, come together and do what God has Man, that's good, man. That's good, bro. And, and uh, what I what I pulled from what you just said, two things that came to mind is, is that you mentioned insecurity, and and you spoke on character. So those, those are two things that I pulled from there, and mm -hmm. things that um, that two of my mentors had had, had spoken to me about. One, they said. Um, Insecurity, no arrogance, is insecurity plain dress up. Ooh, that's deep. That was that was good when he said that. And then good. my mentor said, uh, in terms of character, he said, your your gift can get you in the building, but it's your character that will keep you. Yeah. And so I like that. Yeah. And so we gotta we gotta be very careful with um with our character we gotta be very intentional in how we how we treat people how we mm -hmm. you know those things matter a lot um do. uh so what 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 first got you into music man so i don't really know man it was just crazy i just recall some of the stories uh, that my parents used to uh, tell me, man, I just fell in love with it. They would say that I would stand up uh, on the living room table and sing New Editions, Mr. Telephone Man, <laughs> <laughs> at a very young age, man. And uh, I got a guitar. I want to say it was my great uncle's guitar, if I remember correctly. And I just played it, and I played it, and I played it. And it was sounded like garbage, bro. And mm. so, <laughs> um, and then I remember at a young age, I want to say about maybe, um, maybe first or second grade, I want to say, maybe even younger, um, my parents got me a piano. And so I had a guitar and a piano, man, and I just really fell in love. Uh, with both of the uh, instruments, man. And so my mom, she's a, she's a singer as well. Like, my mom can sing, sing. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, her and I would walk around the house. She would sing a song, and then she would teach me harmony parts. So I got to give some credit to my mom okay. uh, for, for the vocals. Um, but she uh, used to play the drums every <laughs> once in a while as well. So uh, both sides of the family are really into music man it's it's just uh something i guess i was born with man god gave it to me and said hey here you go <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mentioned your mom uh, kind of inspired you um who, who else inspired you uh, musically oh wow man that's so many people. Uh, my first uh, influence with music, uh, the first one of the first songs I heard was 
uh, Stevie Wonder's Love in Need of Love today. Didn't know the meaning of that song, but man, I just love the way that song sounded. So he's definitely, uh, although we do two different genres of music, of course, he's definitely one of my major influences. Uh, and of course, you know, you can't leave out the Princes, the Michael Jacksons, et cetera. You know, they got me started, got my ear listening and listening to the various chord progressions and things of that nature. Uh, but uh, from a gospel perspective, man, there's so many, like Phil Thompson, uh, Diedrich Hatton, um, a huge, 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 huge Smokey Norfolk fan. Uh, so those are the people who actually inspired me. I watch Phil, man, and just listen to him. One of the things I like about Smokey is he is so himself, man. Like, he never veers off of what he likes. Uh, he puts out what he likes. He doesn't care what anybody says. And so uh, it's guys like that, him, Diedrich, uh, so many other people, man, that, you know, motivate me uh, to keep doing what I'm doing for the kingdom of God. Awesome, man. Yeah. I heard some of my influences in there, too. Add-ins and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> So how how would you describe your your because you write music as well? Yes. Do you write yes, and produce um, your own music? I do. Yes, I write and produce um, at least about ninety five percent of the songs you're gonna hear. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've been and I've been producing probably since the age of about maybe thirteen years old. So I got almost twenty seven years in the game of. Uh, production, man. So uh, I'm not the best at it. I, I do what I can. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I just put stuff out, man. Like, hey, look, I try to get it as quality as possible. It just gives something to, you know, try to reach the four corners of the world with it, man. That's it. <laughs> right. So I'm going I'm to put you on the spot right now, man. Okay. Uh, I mean, your music. So you got you to give us a little, you got to give the peoples. A little bit, a little, little something about your music, man. Sure. Give us a little something. Give us a little something, something. Oh, you want me? You want me to sing one of my songs? <laughs> well, anything. If you want to do one of your songs, that's cool. Okay. You want to? You want to? You want to do a cover? That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that doing that at all. I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs, though, and I know you'll uh, recognize it. Give me a second here. Let me get some get get some agua for me real quick. All right. I got you. <laughs> Put me on the spot. <laughs> I don't mind it though. Uh, so I know you probably know this song. So uh here we go. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare to your living hope, your presence, Lord. Mm -hmm. I taste it and see of the sweetest of love when my heart becomes free. And my chain is undone. Your presence, Lord. The Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and feel the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is the word of our to be overcome by your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. That's all I got for you, man. Awesome, man. <laughs> that is awesome, bro. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing that, man. Yeah, I love that. Song. Wow. You caught me on the spot, man. I ain't get to drink no water. I ain't get to clear my throat. <laughs> <That's it, man. laughs> 
<laughs> it's all good. I give you what I got. Give it glory to God. Good, man. <laughs> give it to us well, man. Give it to us well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I, I love God. That song, man. I love that song. Yes. Um. So what what is your creative process like? Wow. I mean, it's really like however God gives it to me because he gives it to me so differently every time. So I may hear something that I've created, but like sometimes he'll just say, give me a melody and he'll say, go create. Mm. And then I could be working or cleaning the house or playing with my kids or something. And he says, here's the words. Mm. Uh, but then sometimes he just does it backwards. Uh, where, you know, it's the words first, and then it's the music, and then sometimes it's just, uh, you know, go sit down until I give you something. Yeah. So you, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those things, man. So uh, it's just really about how he gives it to you, man. Like, and I may hear something someone else has maybe produced, and I'll say, hey, you know, I'd like to have an opportunity to write to it. If they give it to me, they give it to me. If not, you know, we just go from there, man. Listen, when I tell you I'm just a toolbox, a tool in the toolbox of the Lord, bro. <laughs> Use me, Lord. Use me. <laughs> Use me, Lord, however you see it. I, I don't look. That's a good question, man. I never really thought about that. I really don't have a quote-unquote creative process, man, like where I just be like, all right, I'm gonna create today. It don't right. really work like that. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's different for, for everybody. You know, because sometimes it works that way for me too. Like it would be uh-huh. sort of give me a, a melody and that would just be it and I have to, you know, <laughs> create something from that. Sometimes it would be a word, like I'll be in church and I'll hear a word. Mm-hmm. That would be like that would just start inspiring me to write something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So do you, do you like, um, do you have like a pen and notebook that you always have handy or do you like use your phone or what, what do you, what? um, man, yeah, bro. Like seriously, when I tell you, I have so much paper around this house, <laughs> oh man, this frustrates the mess out of my wife. She got all of your stuff everywhere. And I'm like, my bad, my bad. <laughs> man i'm telling you um yeah i got paper everywhere bro literally like so if i need to get up in the middle of the night right. and i know i know for a fact tell me i'm wrong i know for a fact that you've experienced this three o'clock three thirty in the morning god dropped something on uh-huh. me. tell me i'm lying <laughs> tell me i'm lying <laughs> you, you're not telling a lie there's no lie <laughs> So, so now you got to figure out, now you, you're sitting up there like, ah, ah, ah. So just to alleviate that, man, I got a notepad under the bed, bro. So that way, because I know if I say I'm going to go back to sleep, I'm going to forget it. And right. Like, what was right. that thing kind of trust on me? Right, right. <laughs> I, have to, I have to use my phone to record. So I, because even if I wrote it down, I would, I would forget like the melody. I would forget like how it went. So, yeah. I would, I would, that's what's frustrating for me because, like, I wake up three o'clock in the morning, it's like, <laughs> now I, gotta, I gotta get, I gotta leave the room because my wife is right there. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go try to find a quiet, I gotta go in the larger room to sit in the larger room to get a, find a quiet place. And not, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> As you want to, you, you like, <laughs> you, bruh, I so know like to that to struggle, it. man. Go back to listen to me, like, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I so know that struggle, man. Yeah, oh, man. man. <laughs> yep, I do a little bit of that too, uh, but it's, <laughs> it's mostly just like writing everything out. And for some reason, it's weird for me, bro. Like, if I write it down, mm. it could be four or five different songs on the notepad. Mm. Something about writing it down is as if I wrote the melody. Right, right. Because you know how you can see something in your own writing and you remember yeah. it. 
right. remember the melody. I remember how the song is supposed to go. It's so weird. Like, mm. Mm. yeah, but I got a few of those voice memos on there with the washer and dryer on in the back. <laughs> <laughs> You in the back coming. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm talking to one right now. <laughs> I'm talking to one right now. Um, there's so many people. We're going to make that happen in the name of Jesus. Um, man, there's so many people I would love to collaborate with, man. Even just uh, local artists. One of my, um, one of my favorite artists uh, is a gentleman by the name of uh, Christian Gray. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. Christian Gray? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, very good artist. Um, I just love where, um, again, you know, he's authentically him. And, and what I, I love about him the most is that he's not afraid or ashamed to share his story. Mm. Uh, you, you know, so um, he's one of my favorite artists. Uh, would love to collaborate with him on something. Of course, uh, the number one person I want to collaborate with is Smoke, man. <laughs> Smokey Northfield, man. That would that would be a dream come true. Mm. Yeah. Um, if I could produce with anybody, though, uh, my favorite producer. Again, I know he 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 goes right right and left, man. Do a little secular gospel, everything. But Teddy Riley, that is hands down. My favorite okay, producer. Okay, okay. I like him because he's he's got his own authentic sound, and he can give you anything from ballads, stuff that make you dance. And mm. oh man, he's truly amazing. Uh, so yeah, those Smokey from a collaborative perspective uh, with singing, writing, it would have to be Teddy Riley uh, as a producer. Mm. What what is what is one of your personal favorite songs that you you've written and produced? Oh, I have a song, uh, "Never Give Up." Mm. Uh, it was off of the first album uh, that I did. By the way, uh, I got two albums out. They're all for free. You can go to SoundCloud. You can get them on some of the uh, social media platforms. But there's a particular song called uh, "Never Get Up," and it's just me. Uh, sharing a little bit about myself, you know, my trials, tribulations, things I've gone through with relationships, uh, you know, church hurt, uh, et cetera, et cetera, man. And was just getting ready to turn my back on God. And it was him saying, you know, never give up on me because I've never given up on you. And it was just such a uh, beautiful thing to actually hear him say that and give that song to me because it just expressed his love for me. No, like, no matter how much I mess up, mm. he's not going to give up on me. He's not going to uh, veer off or, you know, stray away from me. And he loves me. He said he'd never leave me or forsake me. So I think it's only right that I not leave or forsake him. Good, man. That's good. We're going we're gonna to put all your information for everybody to, to, to get your songs there um, and that's really powerful bro um thank you have you have you performed that song live anywhere it's been a while but yes and it's just so amazing because you know you write stuff and you just put it out and you you're just like whoever it reaches it reaches right man that song um that song, and there's another song that I performed uh, with a gentleman by the name of Brandon Moses, and the song is entitled In Love With You. Mm. Uh, that song and the In Love With You song, so many people, uh, you know, were just like, wow, 
that that reached me, that touched me. And you know, it's uh it's crazy because uh it has kind of an R and B ish type of feel, like that mm-hmm. she can say. Um and so, you know, you wouldn't think that some of the quote unquote older saints <laughs> would, you know, really like appreciate a song like that. Man. But, you know, when I perform those two particular songs live, man, it's just, it's very, very well received. And so I just give glory to God on that. Just knowing that I'm able to touch lives, even from people, uh, you know, from teens on up, just with those two songs, man. That's good, man. And that, that, that's really one of those powerful moments when, when your song can reach multi generations. That's 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 really powerful. Really yeah, powerful. man. And I'm sure everybody's that's, that's the that's the gospel, bro. Um, you know what I mean? And I know we have so many different categories as it relates to gospel, you know, contemporary worship and mm-hmm you know, and the things of that nature, man. But one of the greatest things that I think about uh, God and the gospel is you can't put it in a category. Right. It's gospel music. It's it's not R&B gospel music. Right. It's not contemporary worship. Right. It's, 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 it's the gospel of Christ, you know what I'm saying? And it's, for me, I'm just being honest. This is my opinion. I'm not saying that uh, this is Bible, but I just think that it's unfortunate that we try to put uh, a label mm-hmm. on a God that doesn't have a label. Man. <laughs> man. Man. No. Yeah. <laughs> man. Listen, man, we're coming down to the end. So I want right. to give an opportunity to give a shout out to anybody you want to give a shout out to. And uh, tell us where we can find your music and we can find you on social media. And we can get in contact with you. Anybody wants to you know, get you to come minister at the church, give us the information, man. Absolutely. Um, you can follow me on all of my social media, uh, Kevin Mason Jr., M-I-N. Uh, again, that's Kevin Mason Jr., M-I-N. Um, you can find me on SoundCloud, Minister Kevin Mason Jr. Um, I'm getting ready to release a song called Nike Swoop on Monday. Stay tuned for that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I just want to, one, I want to shout out my uh, lovely wife, man, who gives me the opportunity to uh, record. She takes on so much. She takes on the kids while I'm upstairs recording. I want to shout out my pastor, Pastor Rich Johnson, the Sanctuary Columbus Church. Hey, I want to shout out you, bro, Christopher Sims, man. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Hey, listen, he's humble, y'all, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. He want me to put all my information out. Y'all make sure y'all go get his song, Desperately Waiting. song is a hit. I'm telling you, man. Y'all need to go check that out, too. So, yeah, man, just uh, I appreciate you, bro, just uh, being used by God and man, just taking advantage of all the opportunities that he's given you, bro, for real. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man, for taking your time out to speak with me today, man. I, I, I really do appreciate that. Um, listen, anything you want to say to the people? You want to leave the people with a prayer or something? Yes, absolutely. One of my favorite Bible verses is Romans 8, 28, where it says all things are working together for our good. So even the very things that seem like they are coming against you are still working out in your favor. God has a way of turning things around when we least expect it. So I just encourage you that even though we're going through this particular pandemic, uh, just remember that God is able. God is able. He is faithful. He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly beyond all we could imagine or even think. And so remember there is purpose over pandemic yeah, yeah, yeah. Purpose over pandemic we will get through this in the name of jesus just continue to hold on to faith and go from faith to faith and watch what god does amen amen appreciate you man thank you for that word appreciate you too brother we're gonna we, we gotta collab on something real quick oh yeah man definitely man we're gonna make that happen for sure. we're gonna make that happen asap 
I got I got my my little uh, home studio now, so you know I get I get, I can do a little little, little something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, you know what? That's you know what's so crazy. God takes our little and turns it into a lot, man. Man, get off my line before you start preaching again. And get me hey, somebody. Hey. <laughs> we silly, man. This is crazy because um, this is crazy because uh, it's it's been about a year now. I think maybe. Has it been about a year? Has it been that long? Yeah. It's, it's been about a year? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> this, this is actually, this is the second time, because I did another interview with actually my, my producer, and, and it was the first time that he and I had spoken, and we had been working together for like three years. And wow. And the first time we spoke in like face-to-face <laughs> and actual conversation, and you and I, we've spoken several times over over uh, Facebook. This is our first time yeah. you know, speaking face to face, so to speak. Yeah, man. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it's it's what I think it is, bro, man. It's when you got uh, two pure hearts, man, that just really love the Lord. They love the family. They love peace. I mean, I always tend to uh, jail with people like that, man. So that's a, that's a good thing, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's yeah. a good thing. Well, bro, this has been great, man. This has been great. I appreciate you once again. And, man, we'll be talking soon, man. We'll be talking soon. Let us well, know man. when the new music comes out. You know, we'll love to talk to you again about that. Sounds great, man. Well, again, thanks for the opportunity, and thanks to the station for uh, – you know, uh, giving me this opportunity as well. Thank you so much. No doubt, man. We'll talk, bro. God bless you. Stay, stay All right, safe. God bless you. Peace. You too. <laughs>